aquí les presentamos a la muñeca de Bessie que se la regalaron sus 15 años. What? Oh, hoy hoy, and welcome back to the Project Returns Reaction Month, Month Reactions, where every day you get a reaction. Today's another reaction. Nukes Top 5's Five Haunted Dolls Caught on Tape. You never know what you're gonna get in a Nukes video. It's gonna be a good reaction. Welcome back, V. How are you? I'm doing good, and correction, you get a reaction every Monday, Friday, and Sunday. But that's essentially every day that we post. I didn't know I needed to say it that way. But you know what? You are correct. And I was incorrect on that one. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Right. But Wednesday is the Project Race. And if you guys haven't been caught up with that, you can find the playlist of Season 2 uh, right on our main page. Right there. But as you guys already know, News Top 5. But it's also up here, right? We also okay. put it up here. Well, you know. Beautiful, beautiful person. Glorious nukes. Love the videos. I'm the doing good, buddy. Yo. Yo. I'm doing good. I answer your question now. I'm doing good. I'm man. good. Good. I'm glad you're doing good. I'm glad you're motivated. I'm glad you're ready to do this to jump right into the news top five haunted dolls. Why does it always have to be haunted something, especially dolls? All right. <laughs> let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Mm. Number five. The top five haunted dolls caught on tape. All the tapes. Doll loves being on camera. In this next clip, a young girl is showing off her doll collection while filming herself. Okay. One of the dolls seems to really enjoy this. Mm, was telling the girl that she was pretty. Okay. You know, giving her the wink. You know, hi, hi, girlfriend. You know, it's normal. It's okay. I, I don't know, cause you get some of those dolls that when you lay them down, their eyes close, right? Yeah. So now she might just be in that right position where it's like at any point no. in time it can go into the clothes all right I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll let that one go it looks like the doll actually winks at the camera what really makes this clip seem believable <laughs> is the fact that the little girl doesn't even notice or react to the doll winking according to the story the winking doll was only spotted after the girl's parents watched the footage back the puppet in the case over a three-month period, a paranormal investigative team set up a camera in front of a sealed glass case containing a creepy old man puppet. That the looks creepy clean. as hell. Yeah. Why would you... It, its mouth doesn't even look like it moves. That's a thats an interesting puppet. It doesn't even have a mouth to move. How does it talk? Yep. Those old-time puppets, you know, with the, the strings and the... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah, I believe that one. Robert the Doll. Mm -hmm. One of the Ooh, creepiest heard of possessed this doll. doll stories is the tale of Robert the Doll. <clears throat> the 111 year old Robert Doll was given to Robert Eugene Otto as a child. His grandfather had found the doll on a trip to Germany and brought. Who the hell wants that kind of doll as a. That. No! That thing's creepy looking as all hell! Hell no! Can I return it? Like, you know, when the family gives you something, can you, like, thank you, thank you, I love it. And then when they leave, like, Mom, return this. Please, please get rid of it. That's creepy. <clears throat> Brought it back to the U.S. to give to Otto as a birthday gift. <clears throat> Robert Otto named the doll Robert after himself. Soon Otto began to talk to the Robert doll as if it were alive. He even blamed accidents around his home on the doll. At first, his parents thought it was nothing more than the tall tales of a child. But soon they became worried about Otto's increasingly strange attachment to the doll. Otto continued to talk to the doll and treat it as though it were alive throughout his entire life. Creepy. As an adult, he set the doll in a chair in front of his attic window in his Key West home so that Robert would have a nice view of the outside world. Many passerby often claimed that they had seen the doll moving from room to room through the house's windows, and local children were frightened to go near the Otto house. In 1974, after Robert Otto's death, a new owner, Myrtle Reuter, purchased the Otto house. The Robert doll was included in the sale, as the Otto family didn't want the strange doll. Nobody Robert wants it! that the Robert doll was indeed haunted, and did move from room to room in the house. <clears throat> After 20 years of hearing strange unexplained Oof. footsteps and childlike giggling from the attic where the Robert doll was kept, Reuter donated Robert the doll to the Fort East Martello Museum in Key West, Florida. Since Robert has been on display at the museum, he has received over a thousand letters. 
Oddly enough, most of the letters are apologies and gifts for Robert. You see, many people have had great misfortunes or tragic accidents occur to them after visiting the Martello Museum and seeing Robert the doll. They send letters and gifts to ask Robert's forgiveness for making fun of him or laughing at him during their visit. Oh, well, that I'm the screwed. apology will end what they believe to be a curse put on them by Robert the doll. In this 2011 video, some people believe that Robert the doll can be seen blinking on camera. That look the interesting. Maybe thing it was about a flash. This video is that the original uploader never even mentioned or noticed the doll blinking know. in the video. The blinking was pointed out by YouTube commenters who had watched the video and were shocked when the Robert doll seemed to blink that's creepy. at the camera. No, that's creepy. The possessed Mexican doll. That's messed. The next video has been on the web for years, but no one seems to know the actual origin of the video. In the clip, a young Mexican girl is talking to her friend behind the camera about a doll she's holding. When this happens. I traced the video back to what I believe to be its first post on the internet, which was back in what? 2009. There was no, you see, I would no, 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 no. See, you see, right here, this doll would get burned so bad, and I'd be the hell out of there so freaking fast. It's not even funny. No doll, no. No, go. Whoosh. No. Uh -uh. I don't know why, but that uh -uh. voice makes me think of like Family Guy and, and Joe. <laughs> hey, hey, Peter. <laughs> hey, Peter. <laughs> hey. That's fucked up. Yeah, that's crazy. There's really no other info or backstory to be found on this one. It just moves. However, if the video's fake, give that girl an Oscar for that performance. Okay. Facts. The Island Dude. of the Dolls. I've heard so of this called place. Island of the Dolls in Mexico. Yeah, I've heard of this place too. It's creepy. Places on Earth. Why? Hanging from the trees on the small island are literally thousands of dolls, aged and worn from exposure to the elements. The story goes that in 1950, a man named Julian Santana Barrera lived all alone on the island. One day, while out tending his garden, he found the body of a drowned girl in the water nearby. Barrera was overcome with grief that he hadn't been able to save the young girl, and he hung the child's doll on a tree near the site where she had died as a tribute. Soon after, Barrera began hearing strange sounds from the woods at night. He heard disembodied whispers, footsteps, and even anguished screams. Barrera became convinced that the drowned girl's spirit had somehow possessed the doll that he had hung in the tree. In an attempt to appease the spirit, he hung another doll, and then another. But each time, the strange whispers and screams would stop for a few days and then start up again. Barrera continued to hang more and more dolls in the trees over the next 50 years of his life. <laughs> thousands of dolls over the entire island. Barrera died in 2001, and reportedly his body was found in the exact same spot where the young girl had drowned. To this day, local residents say that they still hear Barrera's dolls whispering to each other in the night. In 2014, the television show Ghost Adventures traveled to the island of the dolls to investigate. As part of their investigation, they explored the small shack where Julian Santana Barrera had lived. Over the course of their investigation, they experienced many strange and unexplainable incidents, like this one. Ready? No, I'm not ready for this. Oh! Whoa! What the hell was that? Bro! Come here! Time to go. Oh my god. Oh my god. One of them's laughing. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. As you can hear in the clip, the screech of a frightened cat scares the two investigators, and then immediately one of the weathered dolls in the shack seemingly begins to laugh at them. Time to go. Whoa! Now, that wouldn't be so abnormal. After all, many battery-operated dolls can laugh or cry. However, when the investigators check the doll, they find that not only does the doll not have batteries to make it laugh, he's shaking his hand the purposely. Is he just flipping out? I, I think so. Doll. That's creepy. No battery pack, and it's laughing. But the way that he was shaking, I think it was to do see if there was any like motion sensors that were set it would set it off. Gotcha. That would be my logical guess with that. Gotcha. But no battery pack, and it's laughing. What? Oh man, that's gonna like haunt me. Why the creepy dolls? 
eyes and the laughing and the and the uh, ooh, 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 ooh. I, I, no, no, no. I think the scariest one out of all of that that one was was pretty scary but just the doll turning her head yeah and it just that, and that lady of... flipping out oh man that was the worst one that like as as far as like scary that was the worst one yeah no thanks I mean uh 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 yeah, that was rough, dude. Yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like down below if you'd like to see this video in its original contents without our shenanigans and freaking out. Go check out Nuke's Top 5. Great channel. Love it. Been, been reacting to it for over a year now. It's great. It's beautiful. Links to that are written right down below. Right there. Go ahead, V. Lead us in the church. All right, pencils for everybody. Done. I got, I got a wooden stick. You know what? If you get yourself some dirt, it's all the same. Like I put a flint in. I, I figure something out. Hold on. You do you. I'll figure this out. All right. Make sure you guys subscribe. Put some graffiti on it. When you're done your masterpiece, be sure to get this video a thumbs up. Like Zed said earlier, if you want to watch the video without our commentary, link be in the description down below. Thank you so much for all the support you guys have been giving us. Let us know if there's any videos you would like us to react to. And, uh, yeah, this is Project Returns. My name is V. My name is Zed. And I'll rise. Are going to bed.